There we go. Now you now you should be able to see me too. Are you gonna turn your camera on or what? Are you not doing that? Uh, I I'd rather just do this with audio. Is that all right? I mean that's fine, but I've just never known you to be that way ever. I even got everything ready because I was like, I know Chaggett's gonna want to go on camera because he always does. Uh, it's just kind of a risky thing that I'm gonna say. So you know. I'd... Now wait, it's not gonna be anything illegal. No, but it's it's just gonna be um. Uh, re- it's just going to be, it's not, it's just going to be a no little ma- edgy. No so massive slurs edgy. in there. But right? I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak euphemistically. As no much as massive I can. slurs in there, right? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. I'm speaking very euphemistically. I'm going to be, so yeah. Okay. Now, I told people a little bit of the background. Um, basically, I mean, you've yeah. talked about TRS here on the show before, positively. Uh, by the way, in a good manner. Uh, and anyway, I'll just let you talk. I don't want to step on your toes here. Um, what, what are you here? Why are you here? So Ralph, wait, 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 one second. You're listening. Wait, 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 I mean, Ralph, have you ever had this experience? You're listening to one of your favorite personalities, like somebody you idolize, and then they actually start bad-mouthing you personally on the air? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say idolize because I, I don't idolize anybody I see on TV or the computer or <laughs> really anybody mm. outside of, like, my family or somebody like that. But, uh, yes, I have had people I, I've liked or respected uh, all of a sudden yeah. start bad-mouthing me. Yes. Yeah. And so it sucks. It's, that is a crazy experience. I was brought up uh, a couple of weeks ago on tedious. They were watching the JLP hit piece and uh, some not so complimentary things were said about me by Mike Pinovic and Sven. I don't think Alex McNabb said anything. And uh, now wait, what did they NG- say? Hold on. What did they say? Or just a little bit. I don't want to cut you off too much, but what was the flavor? I'm going to get to it. Okay. I'm going to get to okay. it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, oh, don't you worry. So NGL, not going to lie, it's been bothering me. Uh, so I would like to respond just briefly to a few things sure. in this open letter to sure. TRS. Okay. And I really hope someone sends this to Mike Pinovic or that he somehow hears I'm pretty this. sure they um, will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so like this letter might not be what you're expecting. Uh, I just want to start out saying I know that with the unfortunate – echoing of my name that uh, you guys are probably like searching around for the reason you should care or maybe thinking, why should I believe anything this guy is about to say? And I get that hundred percent. I get that six quadrillion percent, but there's a few things I really want you to know. So I'm going to start by saying I hold you guys in very high regard. Uh, when I saw you guys were doing a paywall exactly five years ago, actually summer 2017, I didn't even think about it. I immediately clicked. I was like, yep, I'm subscribing done. And, uh, I've been a pay Chad ever since, and I'm going to continue being a pay Chad. Even if you guys still don't like me after this, because I get this thing, I get that this thing is not about me, but there are a few things about me that I would like you to know. So let me first get this out of the way. If I know you guys at all, I know you're thinking because of my, let's say, uh, my discussion leader persuasion, uh, that's a euphemism, you're probably thinking that I'm trying to befriend you with the agenda of saying, look, because I'm a base discussion leader, that means you should include these discussion leaders in your thing. No, no, no. You will never hear me make that argument to you because I recognize that I am like Mike would say an extreme outlier. <laughs> I'm like a fucking discussion leader unicorn. Okay, Ralph, I'm, I'm rarer than a white tiger. And I know that. And I'm uniquely different for one reason, because of the autism, plain and simple. I see things logically True. and I see who is correct and I see who is not correct. But I'm not saying any of this because I'm going to be like, yeah, you guys should let discussion leaders on the board of directors for NJP. No. Okay. I will never say that because I don't believe it. Also, you will never hear me saying that you should change your ideology at all. Yes, Sven, I know one time I called in and talked about the manosphere and I am sorry for mentioning that website that I mentioned. Uh, 
the Daily Wire with Andrew Clavin. But I understand that the manosphere is not you guys' thing, and I respect that. And you'll never hear me saying it again because I don't believe it. I don't think you should change any of your ideology at all. And I don't want you to. <clears throat> And I would never tell you to, but here are a few things that I will say. So it was being speculated that maybe I got hired for JLP because of some like weird reasons. Absolutely not. That was the main thing, Ralph, to answer your question that was said. It was like they used oh, to they, call him Chagot and he, they, he worked for JLP. Oh, they, they cast aspersions on your sexuality, basically, that you sexual favors to give with JLP. Is that what they're... <laughs> they were? They were wondering. They were speculating. They were like, maybe he got hired because he did some for some weird stuff. Absolutely not. I can tell you. I, so I never saw or knew of anything like that during my years there. And I certainly never participated if there was something like that going on in the background. I have no idea. But I am not gay. Never have been. Never will be. Jesse hired me after being an Have intern. Have you ever thought about being gay? The job. Have you ever thought about mm -hmm. being gay? Have you ever thought about it? No, no. It's I'm I'm a gold star straight. I'm okay. <laughs> like the um never. Well, because I've, I've heard a lot of people gay. say that about my you. My that's track why. record is just clean as fuck. Uh, hundred percent straight. And uh, uh, ever since I was five, I was like obsessed with uh, blonde girls. And anyway, I. Uh, <clears throat> Where was I? Okay, Jesse hired me after being an intern because I was good at the job. I started working there. He had like 30,000 subs. And when I left, he had over 5, 500,000. And I didn't do that alone, but I had a huge role in it. I'm the reason that he even streams live on YouTube. I'm the reason he has Avatar wait, wait, wait. cartoon drawing Jesse, him. Wait, wait, Jesse's show for... was your idea? What? His show was your idea? Streaming it live on YouTube. Yeah, because okay. they used to not do that. Yeah, no, I mean, that's a good contribution then. You did them a good service. Oh, there's a long list of things like that that I won't bore you guys with. But And I'm responsible for some 900,000 views total of DR guests still on YouTube. I actually sat down and did the math. By the way, my girlfriend's going to hear this. I don't mean I'm, not, I'm obsessed with any other blonde girls now, babe. Only you, as I know she's going to hate that I said that. Uh, and my girlfriend is not white, by the way. She's half Jewish, so don't think like, oh, he's dating a white blonde girl. Anyway, um, most importantly, though, I'm responsible for one of the last videos of you, Mike, still on YouTube. And to quote Mike, I'm gonna. he was talking about this one time, and I'm going to do an impression. He said, I do know that the guy who booked me on Jesse Lee Peterson was like, oddly insistent and sent me emails for like months. Yes, I did that, Mike, because I wanted to give you a platform. And I'm the reason that that video is even on his channel. And it has not too shabby views. I think close to 100K because it was behind the paywall. I had to actually screen record it. And I did that with Sven's permission. Yes, check your old email, Sven. And I had to reformat it. And I made the graphics. And then if you watch that, after the kill stream, type in Mike Enoch, JLP. You'll see I advertised the shit out of your website. That was all me. And I did that so you would get more eyeballs on you. Um, now explain, also, hold on, but you mentioned the Jewish, uh, half-Jewish girlfriend. There, some in chat don't know your lineage uh, and why you would say something like that. Uh, you, it's it's not half, it's a quarter, right? I forget what, I I'm not, I don't care either way, but uh, you talked about it I'm before. Actually, it's in like the 60-something percent. My oh. mom is 25% and my dad is like almost 100%. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's much higher than a quarter. All right, go ahead. So also, Ralph, you, I hope you can back me up here that I'm too autistic to be pulling off some kind of like smoke screen here. Like, you know, no. my problem is not being smoke screen is not I'm too honest. No, nah, smoke but, screen is not Chagat's forte. No, not at all. Yeah. No, I don't have like the capability to have enough of a filter. I don't That's think you problem. could even possibly do that. Yeah. The other day I was doing something where I had to make a bunch of throwaway email addresses. And you know what I made? I was like, hmm, Mike Enoch is the shit at da da da. Uh, Sven has hot takes at blah, blah, blah dot com. And I made one. Warren Baylog is the man at da 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 dot com. Because right. I fucking love Warren Baylog, by the way. Can I just say he is my favorite new addition to TR. He made something great, even greater. I love that guy. 
Um, <clears throat> I've you know, I've never crazy, heard him speak. Might, actually, what? I've never heard him speak, but I've I've seen some people talk about him. But um, oh, get him on the kill stream. I don't think that'll probably happen uh, for several reasons. But uh, I don't have anything against him personally. I haven't. I, like I said, I don't really know him. Um, but I don't think he's a brilliant. He's a brilliant guy, and he seems like a really good guy. Uh, I just love him. Anyway, mm-hmm. go ahead. Uh, so I've sung your praises, especially you, Mike, to like hundreds of people in private combos over the years. And anytime anyone says anything negative about you or any of the TRS guys, I defend you. I hear them out, and then I craft the best possible defense I can. Yeah, that's what I do with my verbal IQ. And, uh, Ralph, you know from conversations with me, can you attest to my fanhood? (laughs) Yeah, actually, um, you've brought uh, TRS up in some very (laughs) – you're very persistent (laughs) about bringing up TRS uh, and their talking points uh, in some (laughs) places that I would rather you not actually, like in public. Uh, So, yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, I was talking Please about a certain guest that jacket. Ralph often has on that I won't name, and I was saying everything out of this guest's mouth is, like, uninteresting. And I was like, it's like the opposite of Mike Enoch. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I do. I, so, in anyway. all honesty, yes, he's a big proponent of Mike Enoch's, like, literally talks about <laughs> the guy all the time. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Go ahead. Yeah, it's rough hearing one of your idols uh, say bad stuff about you. But anyway, I'm sorry about – I just want to say, guys, I'm sorry about my, uh, let's say, composition. I know it makes us hard. It makes it hard for us to be cool, but uh, we were before, and I just want to go back to that. I even sent my book. I signed it. They showed it on the air. You know, I just don't want to be on bad terms with you guys. I don't want you thinking that I am against you. Again, just talking about me and only well, this me. This will probably put it over the top. I'm sure that they'll they'll see this and then they'll know. And I get that you don't want me to call into your shows. That's fine. But I just want to be on good terms. Even a great convo, me and Mike one time on Mike and the Madwap. Mike, remember we talked about liberals and their views on race. And when he hung up, when I, he was actually like, oh, that was a at least a stimulating conversation. And no, he wasn't being sarcastic. And the first time I actually called Sven on Jazz and Jesse after he hung up, he was like, that was a good call. And no, it was not sarcastic. Uh, I'm not so autistic that I can't tell the difference between sarcasm and not. But even all withstanding, I won't call your shows. That's fine. I know your audience doesn't want to hear someone like me behind the paywall. I just want us to be cool. And I think I have proved myself over the years if you heard me out. But last... And last thing, people in the chat, I want to address you. You're probably going to be saying, oh, you're such a loser for doing this. Yeah, you know what's being a loser? Going off in a corner to suffer in silence. Most people wouldn't have the balls to do what I just did in front of thousands on the air. So if you're trying to spin this as like lame or something, get the fuck out of here. I just took a huge risk. I don't know if Mike and Sven might hear this and be like, yeah, still fuck that guy. I don't know. I'm putting it all out on the table in the interest of being straightforward and direct and advocating for the truth about myself. That's not a loser. That's, that's bravery, if anything. It's, and it's not manly to suffer in silence and be a doormat. That's pussy shit, and it leads to, like, mass shooters. No. Um, we don't want that mm-hmm. at all. Don't even say Yeah, that. no, we don't. And, yeah, it, bottling stuff up, and it, that's not good. That's not healthy. That's not manly. Uh, and also, don't, don't Wait, anybody What are you saying you're going to do if they don't take you back? No, he's not. Go ahead. What? He's definitely not <laughs> saying that. Yeah, I was saying that's bad. Um, he did say also, that's don't bad. Don't anyone dare try and spin this as like I'm some kind of traitor. I swear, Ralph, we are the only group on the political spectrum that will tell people they shouldn't be on our side. Like when the left sees an SJW who's white, do you think they're like, you should be on the other side? No. What the actual fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> it does not make me a traitor to be loyal to the truth. I'm loyal to what's correct. So you um, and oh and Mike, uh, just one last thing to Mike. I was never trying to convert my mom to anything. I was just trying to BTFO her. In <laughs> no, argument. tell that That's story. All. Hold on, where's the clip of that? I, we should hear that where he talks about what was it he said you tried to do? Convert your mom to? I was never under any illusions that I was going to convert my mom. I just wanted to, to own her in an argument. That's all. What does she say? What does your family? Say? I don't think I've ever asked you that, but. 
I don't know. What they was... uh, listen to Ben Shapiro literally every day. Like Ben Shapiro is their Mike Enoch for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's awful. <clears throat> but I mean, and, they're uh, Jewish though. Yeah, but I and I never thought that I was going to convert them or anybody with that persuasion because I know I'm like a fucking unicorn. I just thought I could BTFO in an argument. That's all. Now let me turn on the super chat. What just what I guess just what like do they never say like why are you listening to Mike Enoch? What the fuck? You're Jewish. My parents? Yeah. Yeah, I say facts don't care about my ethnicity. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Because they don't. Such a good line. <laughs> so good. He shouldn't be as fun as he is, but he is. Uh. <laughs> and it's like, so because of my 23 and me, that means the world should revolve around that. And that it doesn't make sense. Like, is the world really about me? I don't think so. Uh, well, no, it's not. It's about me. <laughs> so anyway, I just I hope I killed I hope I just killed you guys with kindness. Uh I hope we can be friends, friendly maybe. We don't have to be best friends, although that would be cool. But uh yeah, just uh, I want to make sure we're back on good terms uh, and uh clear the air and yeah, had to get that stuff off my chest. And I hope they hear this. And what if they still gonna, hate you? They're going to hear what? it for sure. Well, that's, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to keep listening and I'll just have to, that'll probably bother me for years. I don't know. I'll have to figure out. Don't some other say that. Way Come on, like, man. What? Just listen to something else or they don't really know you anyway. Just say, well, these guys don't really know me. If what they, if they do like a weekly segment about you and they make fun of you on that segment? Would you still listen? I don't know. I, I can tell you, I, <laughs> I, um, w I went for like a couple weeks not listening to them and it sucked. And I was like, yeah, no, I have to listen to TRS. <clears throat> Why don't you ever say that about the kill stream? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm just cool. I'm cool with everybody what on the DR. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've never heard you say that about the kill stream. <laughs> I've listened to, what is my, it that they Ralph, have? I've listened How about to this? many, many, many okay. hours of you. Well, that's true. Well, all the hours you go back and listen to the replays where you called in. Now, <laughs> no, yeah, he laughs because it's true. Now, he does, I guarantee you. What is it that they have that other other shows don't have? It, it's not that other shows don't have. They're just probably my fave because I just – Mike Enoch's commentary. Is, well, just the well, uniqueness. Oh, Mike not necessarily Enoch is the best debater. He's right. the best debater I've ever okay, seen. Okay, well, life. you're right. Not necessarily what other, uh, not necessarily what other shows don't have. What is it that they bring to the table that's got so much heft to it that really just like draws you back? Like you said, even when they're talking shit, even when you try to stop listening, you can't stop. Well, uh, I mean, they they just have. I feel like some of the best takes. They're brilliant. They're like borderline genius level. Mike Enoch's the best debater I've ever seen. Watching Mike Enoch debate is feels like I'm at like a football game and I'm watching like my, my team win. Like I don't like sports ball, but like I get, I imagine the way other, you know, yeah. and like remember that that video? Clearly. It's actually I think still on somewhere where he's he's like, what other race do you ask that question to? Tell me what other race do you ask? Because the the woman is like, "Am I wide enough?" And she he's like, "All right, ask that to a black person. Find a black person in this room and ask that." And he actually makes her do it, and he doesn't fucking drop it until she actually does it. And that is a great. Most people don't have that uh, tenacity in when it comes to debates. What do you think about the whole thing about him being Jewish and his wife? Possibly. I mean, his wife not no. possibly, but she definitely was. But. Uh, no, nah, he, he, so he, uh, he was with a half, half Jewish woman before he got red pilled. Like that means shit. That doesn't mean anything to me. Well, she was part that of the show. She was on the hmm? show. She came on the show and stuff. Did, were, did you listen I've to listened her? to every single tedious and I don't recall ever hearing her. If she does, I, I heard she did like one joke segment, like a song or something. Okay. I didn't even know it was her. I don't remember that. I've listened to every one of their shows. Well, I just wonder what you think about it because other people talked about that too on the show, and I mean, I just didn't know. I think it's ever... a completely illegitimate slander against him. I don't think that he deserves it. I don't think it's right. I think that he's a totally genuine actor and uh, like one of the most productive people in the DR. 
What if it turned out he was? And would was that what? would that disqualify him, or would he be like a unicorn type character? Was what? I mean, what if it turned out he was uh, Jewish? Oh, it's no. He he. They um, remember this was on your show. Some caller called up and asked him about this, and then he said he. So so you think that this journalist who like showed the reports of my parents and their background, you think all of that was a lie? And then he's like, you know what? I'm done with this guy. Next. <laughs> Do you remember that? On my show, I remember we had a lot of people call in and question him about that on my show, yeah. Uh, in 2018. Uh, uh, yeah. That seems uh, like I another think, I don't buy any of the slanders against him. I think he's a very genuine, awesome guy. Now, right. can I just ask, you know, just for the audience, because you did this for the audience. I know you did it for my, but, you, you know, you did it in front of the audience. What what spurred this? Why are you having to come on and, and read off this letter and speak to Mike directly in this way? What did they do? What did you do? What What's the background? Oh, I explained it. So a few weeks ago, they were playing the JLP hippies, and they were speculating uh, <clears throat> about, me having maybe been hired for because of some weird reasons. Uh, and that's absolutely not true. And then they, they talked about me for a couple minutes and Sven was saying how I have such shitty opinions. And all oh, Mike was saying that I'm trying to crack the nut of like discussion leaders being part of the DR. And no, I, like none of that, just none of that is true. It's, it's true. They didn't know me that well. And so I just wanted to, I wanted them to know these things about me and who I really am. And none of that stuff is true. By the way, did you know I'm putting on a professional wrestling event on December 10th? Oh, it's December 10th? Okay. Yeah, yeah December 10th in Philadelphia, basically suburb there, right outside Philadelphia. What do you think uh, about Okay. What do you think about Ralph Mania, Woodbury, New Jersey? That sounds great. Why New Jersey? Uh... <laughs> Because uh, it's it, it, it's less regulation to put on a wrestling show in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> That's funny. That's the reason why. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. Uh, so you wanted the reason. That's it. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, well, I mean, it's not easy. You have to have capital and some kind of connection to get a ring and stuff like that. Uh, so not the easiest necessarily. Uh, we've been working on it for three or four months trying to find a place. Uh, shout out to Michael Cisco as well. Um, so not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but uh, yeah, a lot of these states have different uh, athletic commissions, regulations, etc. Yeah, uh, sounds good. I'm sure I'll be there. Do you want? Yeah, I was about to say, are you going to be a part of Ralph Mania? You know, wrestling is probably like the very last thing that I would ever want to watch, but I'll be there. Yeah. Now wait a minute. What's your problem with professional <laughs> re- the sport of professional wrestling? I, I'm not into sports ball. So you That's, I'm turning your nose up. Too, what? what? Well, we'll we'll figure out something. We'll we'll get you involved in Ralph Mania somehow. Are you so you're down to be involved with it? We'll we'll come up with something. I'll talk to you off air. We'll talk to the the uh, commissioner there who's working on the matches uh, and the, uh, the authority, <laughs> the authority. Oh, I there. had a good idea actually. Uh, what about, uh, you can say this, maybe this idea sucks or maybe it's good. I have no idea, but what about you ever seen uh, Ralph, you ever seen the office episode, the coup where Dwight tries to steal Michael's job Yes. and then he finds out about it. And as punishment, Dwight is standing in the office with a sign that says I'm a liar. Remember? I have seen that. It's been quite some time. Though, yeah, yeah. So what if we make me stand in public, not a sign that says I'm a liar, but with some kind of embarrassing sign and, or, or multiple signs. Signs, and I have to like stand in public as like a humiliation type comedy <laughs> thing. That's I mean, an idea. That uh, and people can just walk up to you all night and start yelling in your face. <laughs> they can't put hands on you. They can't put hands on you, but they can come up and like start yelling at you and talking shit. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I actually like that idea. That's uh, not the worst idea I've heard. Uh, it was suggested <laughs> by Chaggett himself. I don't know if you know what you're signing up for because people are going to be fucking with you all night. But, um, okay. All right. We'll consider it, and I'll talk to you off air, but I just wanted to see if you were interested uh, in being a I think a I part. need something um, 
you know, something to follow. The the pepper spraying skit was good. We could do that again, but, you know, I don't really want to do tasing. Nah, we can't do a we pepper. Talking about. Tasing would be an option, but that's a little more uh, extreme. But uh, the the mace we can't do because if we mace somebody inside, of, it's just like a little small hall. I mean, small holds 200-something people, but, like, you know, that's a little cozy building, uh, fortress cozy stuff for real. Uh, and if we pepper sprayed in there, it, motherfuckers would immediately mm-hmm. be heading for the door um, yeah. because it would be fucked. Yeah, so... Uh, it would be hilarious in front of a huge crowd, but uh, now we can't do that. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out something. I kind of like that idea, though. Uh, maybe we'll do that, <laughs> yeah. and we'll have a variation on that. I have some ideas myself, uh, and I'll get together with the commissioner. Uh, I'm still wor- we're still working on the name of the federation, so I don't want to uh, prejudice those discussions we're working in uh, conjunction with our partners we don't want to uh we don't c- want to come out with our federation uh, details just quite yet but uh that'll be coming up soon we will be crowning an, a new world champion there uh, as well at uh, at ralph mania so we'll speak with the commissioner mm-hmm. i'll speak with the commissioner as majority shareholder here and uh we'll have some further discussions all right now let me turn uh Power chat back on because some people wanted to say some things, I think. Oh, um, God. <laughs> all right. Somebody suggested waterboarding. Actually, that was, Holy fuck. Uh, oh, wow. Well. Ego Baby sent $3 to. Well. Uh, no, come on. I'm no. glad Chag had castrated himself. The 13-year-olds are safe now. I don't think he castrated sent $3. himself. $3. I hope you did. All right, go ahead. An old friend named Mike Enoch sent $3 Chagat. Hey, it's me, Mike Enoch. Thanks for the letter. Sick. It was very touching, but I think you're stupid oh. and I hate you. You're gay. I literally didn't read that part. Mighty <laughs> 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 Tighty 91 sent $3. Okay, great Chag got. Well, this nibber finally punched out of a day from hell. Thanks for keeping my spirits up. It's a hitting racing canes on the way back home to the family kind's day. Markomp sent $3 Chagat equals Chad Faggot. What a cell phone. Let's put him in a booth and chuck tomatoes at him like a renaissance fair. <laughs> uh, we don't want to. Uh, some people might get a little too enthusiastic. We don't want to see him uh, go to the hospital. I mean, some people probably do, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be liable for it. We can't. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Do we want Do you? I'm trying to think. I don't really necessarily have any, any more questions uh, as far as that goes. Uh, I don't see any calls. We could have, like, a bunch of, if everybody wants to, like, at once throw a tomato at me. That's, uh, I don't know. That's, you don't mind getting tomatoes to thrown at you? No. All right. I'll <laughs> if put it that will on. help people forgive me for sins that I've done distantly in my past uh, when I was in high school or whatever, bad things that – fine, whatever you want. Or for saying – doing what I did to uh, to someone who I won't name, which I shouldn't have done. Yeah, let's – whatever. I think there needs to be one more. I wouldn't say one doing after Doing what this. you shouldn't I have done. Two is enough, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I have a feeling you're going to be a big part of the program, actually. So that's why I asked <laughs> you uh, here on the air. I like your idea, too. Uh, so we'll see. I have to speak it over. You know, like I said, kick it over with the commissioner. I can't just make these decisions on my own. We have a certain we have a certain power structure in our federation. It would be inappropriate. We don't want to step outside of that. We're going to crown a world champion that night, too. We can't get off to any bad precedent here. We have to go by the book. Um, but... Uh, yeah, okay. We'll have you involved involved for sure. Ralph Mania. Tickets on sale now. Killstream.live slash Ralph Mania. Chagat, do you have anything else? Anything else you want to say uh, to the TRS guys? Well, I also had a vasectomy for the white race. I mean, that if that doesn't tell you something, like that is pretty serious. I had a vasectomy when I was uh, 25. You so, did that for the. And no, I don't have kids. You did so. that for the white race? For the white race, that was uh, one of the. There were many reasons, but but I did. Well, is there been any? Yeah, who can say that's got to that's got to count for something? Is there any problems? Do you have any problems from that? No, no. It was it was a pretty uh, easy breezy process, but that's got to count for something, right? Shit. Shit. 
Uh, I would never get a vasectomy. Yeah. Well, I, I why have kids when you can have cats though? Uh, well, um, it, I don't it know. It seems strange for you to do that because you can't get a man's ass pregnant. So I don't understand what the purpose of that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that was true, then what would I have bothered exactly? So why would I have bothered getting a vasectomy if I was? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, hopefully they. Hopefully I killed them with kindness. Uh, hopefully they hear that and don't dislike me anymore. You notice I didn't use the word hate because no one ever wants to admit to hating anybody. Dislike. I don't want them to dislike me. Well, I do. I say that all the time. <laughs> Most people will be like, I don't hate you. Oh, uh, you're right. You know? Most people, yeah. I say I hate motherfuckers all the time. Pretty much every day, I think. All right, well. <clears throat> anyway, well, I'm just saying. It. Uh, I think that's it. Have a good rest of the show. I'll talk to you soon about Ralph Mania Chaggett. Thank you. Do tell people where to find you. You never even promote your shit. Uh, Telegram at Real Chaggett. And if anybody wants to go see who I'm a fan of, uh, you can see you can see my old Telegram post. It's very clear. Telegram at R E A. L C H A G G O T. All right, bye, Chad. Right, comments. Keep it legal. Enabled. Bye. Thank you. Comments enabled. Bye. Bye. There's Chag at Bibble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, there was. His open letter to TRS. Were you as touched by that as I was? I was moved deeply. Probably not as touched as the. No, no. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.